breaking we deserve news. to be paid a fair wage. We stick together, we fight together, and we do not give in. Now to this breaking news. On a day of national solidarity for Hollywood writers and actors, tonight producers are revealing the details of their latest offer to writers. So what's on the table? Well, KCAL assignment editor Mike Rogers live at the desk now. He's got some uh, info. Fill us in, Mike. Uh, yeah, Pat, this is actually an unusual release. Nobody really expecting this because the two sides had agreed to a media blackout when they came back to the table. But, you know, we've seen uh, scenes like this across the Southland and even on the East Coast for more than 100 days now. As the two sides have yet to come to a deal, SAG after joining them recently as well. So, what's in this deal? Well, I want to show you here. We've got some uh, numbers and information here for you. The AMPTP says this would be a 13% compounded wage increase. It's uh, over the course of the contract. Now, streaming transparency was something that they had been fighting for as well. They want to know, the, uh, the uh, union that is, wants to know how much money and viewers are coming from streaming, something that is not currently available to them. The WGA says that would help them make better decisions. When they negotiate contracts in the future, and of course the all important writers' room minimums, we've been talking about that as well. That is also in that as well. Now, if you want to read the full AMPTP offer, we have posted it on our website, kcalnews.com. Meanwhile, the AMPTP has released a statement saying, "Quote: Our priority is to end the strike so that valued members of the creative community can return to what they do best, and to end the hardships that so many people and businesses that service the industry are experiencing." The statement went on to say, "Quote: We have come to the table with an offer that meets the." Priority concerns the writers have expressed. We are deeply committed to ending the strike and are hopeful that the WGA will work toward the same resolution. As we come back out here to the desk, as we've reported, Pat, they went back to the table with the AMPTP on August 11th. So far, it's been radio silence from both sides about what they're negotiating. Now, the AMPTP released this tonight, really not saying why they've chosen to break the media blackout. We did reach out to the WGA for a statement uh, on, the, on this uh, reveal of information. So far, nobody from the WGA has gotten back to us. Pat.